if you were asked, how do you swing a golf club? What would you say? How would you answer that question? Do you know? Are you upright? Are you flat? Do you set your wrist at the top? Do you start with your hips, your shoulders? How do you swing the golf club? Let's tee it up. Welcome to Data Access Golf, your home for rapid golf improvement. And now, from the thin air of the Rocky Mountains, next on the number one tee, your host, Aaron Stewart. Hello, welcome to another episode of Data Access Golf, the podcast. Thanks for joining us today. I had a very interesting conversation yesterday, and I have not been able to stop thinking about it. I was talking to this acquaintance and talking to him about life, talking to him about all kinds of things, what we're up to, what we're doing, what we're interested in. And um, we came eventually to golf. And uh, he likes to golf. I like to golf. So it was a cool topic to go on talking about. And I kind of mentioned that I'd started to do this um, silly little podcast and how I had kind of gotten into really understanding the golf swing and and using technology to understand the golf swing and my own golf swing. And, and I talked about Fred Shoemaker and extraordinary golf and all of this stuff. It was a great conversation. And as we kind of kept going and talking and learning and whatever, I, I just asked him, how do you swing the golf club? And he looked at me with the blankest look and he's like, what do you mean? And I said, well, how, how do you swing it? I mean, what do you do? I mean, how do you, how do you swing the golf club? How does it feel? You know, describe it to me. And he's like, I just swing it. And so we started talking about that. And he asked me, well, how do you swing the golf club? So I started started to describe to him how it feels to me to swing a golf club. I know what my swing feels like. I know what um, I know what my tendencies feel like. I know how all of that has come about. And I realized that because I have started, I have embraced technology. I have used all this feedback that again, going back to a a previous conversation, talking about riding a bicycle, the reason we were able to take something that's completely foreign that we don't know how to do and quickly become experts at riding bicycles in a very short amount of time is because we have instant feedback from the bike falling over, the feeling of balance, the direction we need to go, all of that is right there for us and the feedback is instant that we become very good at riding a bike. Golf isn't that way. And I realized that, okay, because I have had been in, in essentially immersed in all of this feedback that I had now come to a point where I can describe my golf swing. I know what my golf swing feels like to me and I can describe it. What goes on, how I feel at the top, what I feel is set, what I, where I feel my weight is, all of that stuff. And All of this feedback has done some really great things for me. It has created awareness. And Fred Shoemaker always talks about, it was one of the coolest things I think that he's ever said. When we were talking one day, he said, you know, Aaron, really the only difference between my game and your game is that I'm more aware of what's going on in my swing than you are in your golf swing. And that's really what it's all about. And so when we talk about all these devices that give you instant feedback, we're essentially creating the opportunity for us to learn about our golf swing and create more awareness about what's really going on. So that was the cool part of the discussion. We had a great discussion about that. And uh, he became very intrigued as to the different types of equipment I'm using. And we talked all about that. So swing bite and the, uh, the swing caddy little putting device, all of that. We, we had a good discussion about it. But we took a step further and I asked him, well, what are you doing? What do you do to practice? And he talked about, yeah, he liked to get to the range every once in a while and hit a bucket of balls. He liked to go out with the kids and hit some balls. He liked to go out and play, you know, some rounds here and there and just practice, not really keep score, but just enjoy it, you know, for what it is. Just being outside and and out in the beautiful scenery and enjoying just golf, which is great. I think that that's 100% wonderful. And then uh, it continued on and I said, have you used any technology at all? Have Have you been to any lessons or whatever? And he's been to a few lessons. And then I asked him if he had ever seen his swing. And he said, no. And I was like, whoa. In this day and age where every phone in everybody's pocket has a camera, a video camera, HD quality, most of them nowadays, 
it is so easy for us to capture our swing on video. And I was just like, wow, you have never seen your swing on video. And he's like, no, I, I never have. And I'm like, well, why not? And he's like, I, I, don't, I don't really know how that would help me. I mean, I have swung the golf club and never seen my golf swing and I'm fine. I don't, I don't really have any desire to see my golf swing. And I was so shocked by that. So we got in a really cool discussion. I encouraged him to just get your golf swing video to take a look at it. You know, hey, ostrich, pull the head out of the dirt and take a look to see what's really going on. Because I think you'll be surprised. It reminded me of a situation where we have a good friend, a family friend that we've grown up with. And we played a lot of golf together growing up. And uh, we, I encouraged him and finally got him to agree to go out to visit Fred Shoemaker. So he went out there and so Fred Shoemaker videotaped his swing, all that. He came back from the school and he had learned a lot and he really enjoyed it. Everybody does. But he was really angry at me and my cousin because we had never talked to him about how un <laughs> unorthodox his golf swing was. And um, so he was just like, why do not you guys tell me that that's what I looked like swinging the golf club? I mean, it was just embarrassing. It wasn't a typical, smooth, even-tempoed golf swing. It was kind of a little choppy. And he said, why didn't you guys ever tell me? And Damon and I said at the same time, we thought you knew. We, had, we made the assumption that he knew what his golf swing looked like. So that kind of drove it home for me that if we have never videotaped our golf swing and we have never seen it on videotape, then we probably have no idea what it looks like. We think we know, right? We think that what we're swinging and how we're feeling, and we have a picture in our head, but I'm guaranteeing you that your golf swing, if you've never videotaped it, doesn't look like Adam Scott's. It does not look like Jason Day's or Tiger Woods. It looks like your golf swing, and it may or may not look good. But we got to start somewhere. We have to be realistic about this. And so between now and the start of spring, I am begging everybody within the sound of my voice, once you get to a point where you can go out and swing a golf club, grab a friend and videotape your swing and just embrace it. See it for what it is. See if it looks fast to you or slow to you. Take a look to see, does it look flat? Does it look upright? Do we know what even those terms mean? All of that. Take a look at it. Just enjoy it. See it for what it is. Because you need to see it. We need to know where we're starting from in order to get an understanding of where we need to go. And until we see our own golf swings and make some sort of initial judgment on what they are, if you don't know what your golf swing is, you know what? Let me know put it in the notes, whatever, send it to me. I am happy to look at a golf swing and let you know what your golf swing is and send it back to you just so we can at least accurately discuss what your golf swing is now and maybe have some ideas of what it may look like in the future depending on a few things that, that you practice with. But it is so important to know where your starting point is. So please, over the course of this winter, this is a, a short podcast today. I just want to commit everybody who is, who is listening to this podcast. Please take time, find a friend, and get your golf swing on video. And look at it. Really look at it. Become interested in it. A down-the-line view, so somebody standing behind you, looking towards the target. Have you swing down the line and have a face-on view. Both of those views, take a look at them. Make sure that they're back far enough where you take in the club where it's in full view so you can see the club face throughout the entire swing and get a swing of yourself down the line and front view so you can see what your golf swing looks like. And then start looking at other players on the tour. See what their golf swings look like and start comparing and contra contrasting and getting an idea of what we have to work with. That is going to be such a huge place to start moving into 2019 and moving into spring is just figuring out what your golf swing looks like and then compare it to what you thought your golf swing looked like. Make the comparison. What's different about it? What feels different? What is there anything there that you didn't think was going on that is going on? 
Just make that judgment. And then look at some other folks that are swinging a really nice golf club. There's some beautiful golf swings out there. Um, Xander Shoffley has a beautiful golf swing. Look at his golf swing. Um, and then just start comparing and contrasting and looking at it and just let that happen. That will help you learn immensely just because you know where you are and you know how your swing is different from those that are swinging it differently than you. That will help your mind kind of get around this. So it's an excellent place to start, especially in the off season. Videotape your golf swing, have a friend videotape your golf swing, look at it, digest it, have some judgments about it, match those up to what you think was going on, and then compare it to others. Thanks for listening. Appreciate it. A short one today, but um, a very important one. Videotape your golf swing. As always, better data always means better golf. Thanks. Thanks for listening to Data Access Golf with Aaron Stewart. Check us out online at dataaccessgolf.com. And we'll see you on the next episode.